With all the experimenting I do, I tend to blow a lot of MOSFETs. So I'd like to share with you uh, how I tend to test them if I have a dodgy circuit board. For instance, I've got this uh, PWM motor controller here that blew a MOSFET. So I've taken the MOSFETs off. Because there's no way I can tell which ones are blown, apart from the fact that one of them had a big hole in it. Um, and I pulled it apart, and I've cut the MOSFET off. So you can see it there. And I've built this little wee controller here, where you just simply put the MOSFET into that those sockets there, which are held in place by hot glue. And this here is a, a little motor controller. It's um, a little wee 555IC, which sends out a on and off signal through here at about 200 hertz and you simply just plug it in to here like that hope you can see that and you turn it on and I think you can hear that See if I can carry this up to you. And you can control the motor speed via this pot due to the PWM signal that comes out of there. So, this is a really good way of testing your MOSFETs. So, you can pull that out. Try another one. Now the circuit's for N MOSFETs, N channel MOSFETs that is. Just make sure that I've got an N channel MOSFET here. Okay, so now we'll just try another one. So you stick it in there. Put your probes on. And There it goes. I think you can hear that motor spinning. To give you an idea of what's going on in that that board there, let's just turn this on. And switch that on. Right. You can see it's on 13 volts or 0 0.13 volts. Turn this up. Let's have a look. There you go, it's 4 volts. Turn that down. Drops down to 1.1 volt or thereabouts. So yeah, a perfect way of testing MOSFETs out, fast and easy. Now, this controller board here with the 555 and a MOSFET is going to drive something like, say this for instance, which is my little bit invention to actually increase the strength of a squash, I guess in America it's called racquetball, but yeah, squash stroke, where this one twists and it has micro switches here that turn things off and on, and this enhances the strength of the, or helps condition the strength of the muscle on the forearm grip and the punch as you stroke the ball is there. Okay, that'll do.